guys welcome back to my channel for today's video i wanted to do a testing new makeup video is this the camera is moving um yes i wanted to do a testing new makeup video because i did get um some new makeup which you would have seen if you watched my last haul video and i really am feeling like inspired by spring that's supposed to be here um i still have the heat on and it's kind of freezing <laughs> but uh yeah i just want to try like a more spring inspired look um so i'm going to be using my new tarte palette today the rainforest of the sea high tides and good vibes palette because it does have like some nice bright spring shades and I think I'm going to use the blues so we'll see how it goes but that's what my eye is drawn to and I'm going to use my Becca Ocean Jewels highlighter palette I have used it before I actually have used that palette before too and I really liked the look I got um, so these aren't really first impressions more like second or third um but if you recall this is the palette and i did use the pink shade the formula was a bit drier than i thought it would be so i might try another color today maybe the blue one we'll see and i am trying again the vdl perfect lasting foundation i just did a video on a whole bunch of products from this brand um it's my last video in case you didn't see it yet um but uh, i did actually really like this foundation um, i wore it for a couple more hours after i filmed that video and it stayed really nice the only thing is that because i powdered over it um, it did look a touch powdery like at the end of the night and I'm not sure if that was because of the powder or the foundation. So I'm trying it again today and I'm going to use the other primer, the Luma Layer. You can see because I don't know if I'm saying that right. Lumi Layer primer the fresh version because last time i used just the regular version but i think this one is meant for dry skin because it's supposed to be more moisturizing from what i understand so i'm gonna try that today and then the other products i don't think i have any new bronzer or blush so i'm gonna use what i have but anyway let's get started so first I'm going to put the primer on. It looks like this. It's in a glass bottle. And it looks like it has a shimmer in it possibly. Oh yeah, it does. I'm going to put two pumps. That's what it looks like. I don't know if you can tell, but it's quite shimmery. So we'll see how this goes. And it does smell like the other products. It is, fr um, there's added fragrance in these products, which I don't love, but it's not horrible. And it didn't break me out the first time I used it, so, so far, so good. I don't even have a mirror. What am I doing? I can't. I'm using the monitor. The little viewfinder as my mirror that's not going to work is it okay so I got a mirror so far yes I think I did get yeah I look quite dewy from using that primer um, so I'm just gonna do some spot concealing where I need it I'm not gonna use anything new so I'll just speed over this. I'm 
And I did throw this in my everyday makeup drawer. I've talked about this before um, on my channel. It's the Tatcha the Pearl Under Light and Eye Treatment. And I put this here because I'm not using it and it was like $60. So <laughs> hopefully because it's in this drawer right next to me that I'll start using it more. And I have been using it um, under concealer. I don't really know what it's doing to be honest and I kind of regret buying it. But anyway, I'm going to get my use out of it. So I'm going to use that under my concealer today. It does like give an illumination under the eye and it cancels out the redness I guess. I mean you can kind of tell already this like from this eye to this eye the difference. But I don't know if it's worth 60 bucks. So I'm going to put the foundation on with a brush because I'm pretty sure I used a sponge in my last video and I want to try it different ways. So that's what the foundation looks like again. I have the shade A03 and it looks light but it's actually a good shade match for me. I'm going to use the Real Techniques what is this called? Ultimate Buffing Brush. This is going on nice with the brush too. It's not like streaky. Which can happen sometimes when you use a brush for your foundation. Wow, this looks really dewy. And I'm pretty sure that, well, it is somewhat the foundation, but I'm pretty sure the primer is giving most of that effect because it wasn't this dewy when I used the regular primer. This looks like amazing actually. I don't know how well you can see but it's really smooth and it's not clinging to any patches. Wow. That could also be because actually I've been using the Ula Henriksen sleeping cream. Is that what it's called? I hauled a little sample of that and I used it two nights in a row. And already, like, the texture in my skin is so much smoother. I used to have, like, a lot of bumps on my forehead. And now there's, like, barely any. So, yeah, so far that product is really nice. But, yeah, this foundation also looks really good right now. So, let's put concealer and hope that we don't ruin it. And I don't have a new concealer, so I'll speed through this part too. Just switching to my smaller, what is this? Luxie Flat Angled Blender. Yeah. So 
so my concealer doesn't mesh very well with this foundation but I kind of expected that because that concealer, the Tarte Aqua Sealer that I always complain about <laughs> but I'm trying to use up it does not mesh well with most foundations it only actually goes really well with my Tarte foundation so I don't know if that's on purpose but yeah it's not looking that good under the eyes yeah that looks really bad right here I'm just gonna add some um, of my NARS soft matte complete concealer the sample that I have because I feel like there's still some darkness here since the concealer isn't setting like well not setting it isn't sitting nicely on the foundation and maybe because that Tatcha product does not work well with it I don't know if that looks any better <laughs> oh god well hopefully we can cover some of that with eyeshadow because <laughs> it's not looking great but look at my face it's so glowy so I'm going to start with the eyes you needed a reminder of how cute this palette is. There you go. <laughs> I love the cover of it. And it looks like this inside. So pretty. So yeah, I'm going to try using those blues because I feel like it. I'm just gonna go right in with the color surfs up this like turquoise shade I guess you would call it okay so what I can tell already is that this shade is not as bright as I thought it would be. It's like having to be built up quite a lot. And it's actually kind of like a satin finish. It's not a matte shade, which I think I thought it, it was. But I can see there's like some shimmer in it. This might be a look that I should have done before my base because it's getting kind of blown out and I'll have to clean up the edges after but yeah it's too late now so those are the colors this is like a teal it's not in focus is it but I think you get the idea. It's like a teal shade that was dive in. This color here and the brighter blue color is deep blue. I think I want to... What do I want to do? <laughs> I'm going to put the teal shade all over the lid, I think and we'll see how it goes I think I'm going to need a flat brush like this one yeah I'm kind of just blending it up into the crease but I'll go back later and add some lighter blue to blend it out yeah definitely should have done my eyes first 
but I never do that so it's not something like I think about until I realize it's too late. <laughs> okay, and then I want to take the deep blue shade and I think I want to focus that just on the outer V. So I'm going to use a small brush because I have a feeling this might get crazy. I'm going to use this little brush here. Um, this is a Luxie mini flat angled brush. You can see it better like this. That's a pretty color. So I'm just blending it on the outer corner here and into the crease, but not all the way. Because it's quite dark. I mean, even though like it's a bright blue, it's like a dark shade. So I don't want to bring it all the way in and close my eye. Like, make my eye look smaller, if you know what I mean. So, this is what it's looking like. And I really want that shade dive in that I put on my lid. I want it to be more, like, opaque. Because it's... You can still see, like, some of my skin underneath. So, I'm going to use Fix Plus just to make that more pigmented. Yeah, see already how much better that is? Yeah, that's better. And now I'm gonna go back in with that Surf's Up shade because it almost all like disappeared. <laughs> so I'm gonna use a denser brush than I was using because it's not really sticking. Just to like soften the lines also. Okay, it looks kind of crazy right now. But I think it's going to come together. Um... Yeah, so underneath, I'm going to use a smaller brush like this and go in with the shade Surf's Up again, that turquoise shade. And I do want to use the glitter because how can you not like use these glitters if you're going to use this palette. I'm going to use the silver glitter. Seems like there's some blue in there too. This color here. It's called Turtlet. Yeah. And I'm going to put that on the inner corner. I am going to use my NYX Glitter Primer because otherwise it's going to get all over my face. Normally I would put these glitters with my finger but because I only want it like in this small area I don't think that's going to work. So I'm going to try and pick it up with my brush here. Um, this is what I use normally to like highlight my inner corner and it's quite dense so it might work. Let's find out. Oh yeah, it's picking it up. My camera just cut out but that's what it looks like. So it is working.
that's what it looks like <laughs> obviously it's not a wearable look but well maybe for some of you um i would like only wear this like if i was going out somewhere <laughs> but yeah I think I do want to darken the outer corner, like the bottom, on the bottom lash line some more. I have a lot of fallout, um, so that's something to note if you don't like palettes that have fallout. Uh, yeah you're gonna have to be careful with this or um you could bake underneath your eyes and then wipe away the powder but of course i forgot to do that today so yeah it's looking a little messy i'm gonna do my mascara off camera i tried to clean up the edges and now I have some red there so I'm probably gonna have to go back in with some concealer too but this is how the eyeshadow looks I added more glitter underneath too because I just wanted like it to look like it was coming down more um, I think this will look better with mascara <laughs> I hope but yeah it's just like you know, I just wanted to try the blue shades and I like never wear these colors so it's just fun to like play around with them. But I do think I need to practice some more. Okay guys, so I'm back. I had to re-concealer <laughs> my under eye um, because it was just too much fallout. Like when I looked in my other mirror, I could just see like a blue shadow. Um, so I just took a makeup wipe and like wiped away what I had and redid it basically. So I hope it looks even, but yeah, I think, um, that's all I want to do for the eyes. I did put mascara on off camera and I used my Tarte Fake Awake, um, like nude pencil on my waterline because it just looked like really blue yeah i don't know in the future if i would do an all blue look i just i don't know if it's because i'm not used to it but it looks weird to me with my eye color i don't know <laughs> but yeah um i like the glitter um and the shades were pretty blendable i just like i said before that turquoise shade i wish it was brighter um because you can barely see it it kind of just blended away and i was hoping it would be um a lot brighter so anyway i'm gonna continue with the rest of my face uh, i wanted to use like a peach blush with this look so I took out my narcissist or whatever NARS yeah NARS narcissist palette and I'm gonna use this shade here which is like kind of shimmery so I want to keep with like this glowy look um, that's the shade I think it's bumpy ride so let's see Maybe it's a bit more pink than peach, but I like it. And for bronzer, like I said, I didn't get a new bronzer, so I'm just going to use my butter bronzer.
also going to do my eyebrows quickly because there's nothing new to see here. It's my Hourglass Fiber Brow Gel as per usual. And for highlight, like I mentioned in the beginning, I'm going to use my Becca Ocean Jewels palette. Looks like this. And to keep with the blue theme, I do want to use this middle shade. I can't even really see. But it is like a blue shift. Maybe if I swatch it, you can see it better. There it is. I don't know if you can see the blue, but definitely looks blue in the pan. I'm gonna use the Luxe. No, that's not it. This one. Lexi Tapered Highlighter Brush. Wow. I don't know. Wow. That looks nice. You can definitely see the blue undertone in real life. But it's not really translating on camera. Wow, that that's really nice. Okay, I definitely like this shade better than the other one I used. These do have names, actually. So the shade I'm using now is called Aquamarine. And the one I used before was Citrine. Um, but yeah, this one is so nice. Okay, I think that's enough. Mm -mm. I really like that highlighter. Um, I'm gonna use the VDL Expert Radiance Fix Mist to set my makeup. These all smell the same like the mist the foundation the primer it's kind of like a honestly it smells like soap a bit it's not the best smell but yeah i do like how this foundation looks um especially with that primer i mean look at this that's not even highlighter because i only put highlighter here that's like the primer and the foundation that's giving that glow. I really like it. I'm not sure if I could continue with this shade in the summer because it is like, yeah, it's kind of light. I mean, it matches me because I'm really pale, but in the summer I do get I don't really ever get a tan, but I do get a bit, like I get freckles and stuff, so it might start to look too pale. But yeah, I really like how it looks so far. Um, yeah, not my favorite eye look that I've ever done, but it was fun to try something new. Oh, for lips. I guess I didn't get a new lip product but I think with this blue I really want to do like a peachy nude lip okay so I have this mini tart lipstick in beach babe I forget what these were called um color splash lipsticks um looks like this so it's not really peachy, it's more like a brown nude, but we'll see how it looks. So 
so that's with the lipstick I think I want to put some gloss over it so I took out this peach Too Faced Sweet Peach lip gloss these were the uh, creamy peach oil lip glosses they have a little peach on the end so cute and they smell like peaches of course this is the shade Papa Don't Peach Ooh, I forgot how much I like this lip gloss. So yeah, that's the finished look. Um, yeah, I really like the base. It's not full coverage, as you can probably see. Do see like some of my freckles and redness still, but that's the look. That I like but I'm just letting you know if you're like a full coverage kind of person you might not like this look um, but yeah I like it and I like the highlighter I like the lip combo yeah I just wish that turquoise shade was more vibrant um, but yeah, I think I saved the eye look as best as I could. So yeah, guys. Okay, so here is the finished look. Maybe it's more like a summery look than a spring look. Um, but yeah, I still kind of like how it turned out. And I was happy to try something new and try these new makeup products with you guys. So... If there's anything you want more, um, you want like a more detailed review on or any updates, just let me know. And I hope you liked this video. Um, if you did, give it a like. I know, like, I'm trying with my hair, but I just really need a haircut, I think. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> so, uh, subscribe. Also, if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!